Afternoon. Hope you're okay. I am here to tell you about our summer hoop club box. So we are getting, oh, I've just done the reveal on the blog so you can see the project. We are going to be making a little needlepoint pouch. Here it is, a little gingham needlepoint pouch. And this is made using plastic canvas. Am I actually looking at the camera? Yeah. Okay. Um, plastic canvas, which is this. This is a thick. This is a bigger one actually. The one we're using is slightly smaller. I used to be obsessed with plastic canvas. In fact, this is what I used to make my very first kits that I sold on Etsy. And I'll show you. I've got a bit of a, a box full of goodies here. So this is the project. Um, a little pouch that you can use for I'm actually going to take this to a wedding but might not be to everyone's taste but you can use it as a little project bag or a little pencil case or a little sewing pouch anyway so the idea for that came this was one of the um, first things that I made like this must be like eight or nine years ago now so these bags lined with felt. These are made out of the chunkier um, stuff. What's right, the obsessed with making them. Love them. So this is what we're basically making, but this um, slightly smaller version. A little bit more delicate. I even made this one. I love this one, this swan. So, just giving myself lots of praise here. Anyway, I think people like them. Whenever I show them, people tend to really like them. So we're gonna be using plastic canvas to make it. So it is a quite an in-depth project, I would say. It um, has got lots of different stages. The stitching of the plastic canvas is super easy and it's really fun to see the gingham pattern kind of come to life. So you stitch both sides of the plastic canvas, then we attach the zip to the felt lining, then we sew the lining together mm -hmm. and then we start attaching um, the zip to the bag and then we stitch around the edge. So there's a few different um, stages to go through but it will all be fully explained in the magazine and then on the YouTube tutorial as well so don't be intimidated this is definitely a project you could do as a beginner we'll take you through it step by step and I think you'll like it because I mean a lot of you are so speedy and especially now that we've moved to a quarterly um, rhythm I want to give you a project that lasts you a decent amount of time and I think this one will last you a decent amount of time so that's the thinking. We are planning lots of extras to go in the magazine and in the box so we want to really make it as full as we can within the budget and fill that magazine with so many different ideas and um, just inspiration bits. So. Oh, the other thing is we're offering a um, an offer if you sign up for a year, so that's £100 for a year, so that's four boxes, then UK postage is included, but international postage is on top of that. We're offering you a free strawberry kit, and I don't think I've got one here. I don't think I have. Um, but I, you, can have a, you can see it on the blog, um, the strawberry kit. So have a look at that. Um, that's a little free gift offer to encourage you to sign up for an annual subscription. Um, I think that's about it. So you need to sign up by the 15th of May. So you have got a decent amount of time, like about a month, but I am obsessed with Gingham. It hasn't gone out of fashion yet, has it? It's classic. Anyway, this is the project love it. Um, one of the things I'm thinking we're looking at putting in is a little mini pom-pom maker so you can make these pom-poms to go with it. And we're, oh, we, the wool we're using is amazing. It's from Appleton's, which is a UK uh, manufacturer of 
beautiful wool. So that is the wool we're going to be using. Let me know if you have any questions, but sign up for this one by the 15th of May and we'll be sending it out towards the end of May, the third week in May, I think we say. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. Any questions, let me know.